Good evening, young people. This is Miss Aruba standing in the creek at Renfrew Park. It's been a hot day, so it's always nice to visit Renfrew and cool off. And guess what? I have another short history lesson. Yay! So what effect did our greatest resource, water, have on the development of civilization? And what effect did the development of civilization have on our greatest resource, water? What is now the entrance to Renfrew with all its beautiful picnic tables, a tannery once stood. So a tannery is a place where they process animal skin into leather. They have to desalt it, dehair it, degrease it, and then soak it in water. The process is stinky, and then tannin is used to, tannin can be any chemical compound um, and refers to any com chemical compound that preserves the skin from decomposition. Any waste from the tannery would have been dumped into the creek at Renfrew. And think about what kinds of small industries were along the Nile River and what might have been dumped, what kind of waste might have gone into the Nile River in ancient history. Now on the other side of the creek is a smokehouse and a place where they used to butcher animals. All of this was done in the 19th century. Any waste from animals being butchered would have also gone into the creek. So what did the ancient Egyptians do when they butchered? Definitely that was an industry in ancient Egypt as well as early America. And in the back lower level where they would have butchered animals, the upper level was the smokehouse. Smoke rose to preserve the meat. How did ancient Egyptians preserve meat? Did they smoke it? Did they use salt methods to preserve it? Remember that they didn't have refrigeration. As I walk along the creek to the back farmhouse, I want you to think about agriculture, the agriculture that took place here. The farmers weren't only butchering animals, cows, beef, pigs, sheep, but they were also raising them for dairy. Pennsylvania was the leading dairy state until about 1840. People ate in the 19th century approximately 30 to 50 pounds, depending on the sources that you read, of butter per year. You would have seen a lot of cows here, and they also would have been in the creek. Between the trees, you can see the upper farmhouse, and down below are the ruins of an old grist mill. The grist mill was used to grind grain into flour. There would have been a water wheel that used a great deal of water to generate power. That water, at once it spun through, would go back into the creek. Downstream from the creek, uh, or from the grist mill, was an apple cider mill and they would have uh, pressed apples and the pumice from apples to create the juice. So just a fun factoid before I'm over and out, this creek would have also been used for the family's bath water. They would have taken a bath once or twice a year and heated the water over a fire from this creek. They would have then shared that bath water with the father going first and the youngest sibling going last. So enjoy your shower this evening.